Hello, my name is Nelly, and today I want to show you guys how to enter your ICO transaction. So this is the help article that I am basing uh, this video on. So if you want to read up on it on your own, I will leave a link down below. So it says when you take part in an ICO, you are sending coins, usually Ethereum to the ICO owner's address and later you receive a predetermined amount of tokens. So you can see how this might cause some problems for Coinly. Since Coinly has no way to know that these transactions are connected, you will have to tell Coinly manually how much you paid for the received tokens. Otherwise, Coinly will assume you paid the market price. So step one, make sure you have added both transactions. So the send transaction and the receive transactions that are part of this ICO. Um, so here I have an example in front of me of what an ICO um, set of transactions looks like. So in this image, we pay one Ethereum to take part in the ICO of Lifecoin. So yeah, this was in 2019. Um, we receive 500 Life tokens on August 1st. We later sell these Life tokens for a price of $100. So the problem here is that Coinly assumes that we bought the life tokens at the market price on August 1st, which was um, $0.04. And therefore we end up making a profit when we sell the life tokens, even though we actually made a loss since we paid $200 worth of ETH to take part in the ICO. To fix this, first we copy the market value of the ETH transaction, which is $200. Then we edit the life transaction and click the change button. It's gonna, it might be in a different location now, but look for this change button. Um, enter the value that we copied, which was $200 and save it. So this is what the menu looks like when you enter that value, you click change and you enter a value of $200. And then ultimately, um, what the set of transactions should look like is like this. And this now is reporting a hundred dollar loss and that's it. Now the life tokens will have a correct associated, um, cost associated with them. And that is the final result uh, of what you've just edited. So one question you might potentially have is, should I use the market price at the time I participate in the ICO? or um, at the time I received the tokens. So this is a bit of a tricky question because it's uh, you know kind of a gray area. Since you might end up receiving tokens a long time after you participated, so uh, quite a bit uh, of a difference here in the time, um, the market price you use can have a big difference or big effect on the taxes when you sell them. So due to the lack of real clear guidance in this area, it is difficult to say with 100% certainty, which is the correct price to use. However, most people tend to use the market value at the time of participation. And that's it. It was pretty straightforward. I think if you have any questions, let us know down below. We'd love to answer them. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.